What's up guys, it's Michael here. In this video, we're gonna talk about what type of investor you should be to make more better investments in the future. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only and I am not your financial advisor. I'm just some dude on uh, YouTube just talking about financial stuff for entertainment. So let's get back to the video. So what you want to look at is what type of market you're in. So there's a lot of videos out there talking about bear market and bull market and you know market adjustments. So to break it down, you want to see is what type of market is currently trending. So right now, right now they consider it is it is a bull market. So a bull market is where the market is trending up and a bear market is a market that's trending down. And a market correction is when a stock hits its peak, it just suddenly just trumbles down over 10%. So what you want to know is people always ask, like, should I invest in this? Should I invest in that? But overall, you want to get down is the market is always going to give you a positive gain overall. And the reason why is that because companies, the top 100 or 500 companies in the world, they are always competing against each other to become better than the other. So when you have competition, there's always striving to be a better product. When there's a better product, there's more people coming in to invest. So that's how it works. But yet I catch the point here is this is mainly for economies that have really competitive nature, such as in America, which majority of people watch this video. And you look at other economies like Japan. They had the uptime back in like 1990, and all of a sudden they dip down. They never really rise back up because their economy is different from other countries' economy. So you gotta get that, keep that in mind. So you gotta look at how does your economy work and look at the history. A lot of people don't look at the history on how stocks work. So in America, stocks all the way back in when it first started, like around like the 1920s when the stock market you know, began. As you can see, the trend is always going up. There's always gotta be downtimes and within the downtimes or within a decade or so, usually a major event within a decade or so. For example, recently in the 2000s, you have like the 2008 and the 2003 dot com, then you have the housing crisis. And now it's about the time again, 10 years again, now we have the pandemic. So the market will always have a downturn. But when you see on a graph, when it has a downturn, once it gets back up, it gets back up way stronger than before, which is pretty amazing. It's because how our economy works. Our economy works in the United States specifically, you know, as you can see, we like to print money. Besides the printing money, we also like to, you know, hand out benefits. So benefits that keep the economy floating. So when, you know, when insurance rates are low, and basically loan rates are low you have people continue to borrow money a lot so when low fees means more people borrow money higher fees less people take more consideration before borrowing that's how it works so right now is a bull market so meaning it's trending up but in theory it's supposed to be a bear market trending down and some people say it's been overvalued which makes sense but overall based on all the articles and personally investing myself and seeing how my family does it over the years is just passively invest so when you passively invest you always continue to get gains even you have downtime your downtime still invest there's a good time where stocks are overvalued still invest to spend a little bit of your money so basically take whatever income you have break it down to where that you are comfortable to lose only income you're comfortable to lose so imagine your income is in a bucket it's a hundred percent your income cannot go over a hundred percent and it cannot go below zero percent so within that 100%, you want to split up to groups. As I mentioned in my previous video, where you, when you break down your income in different brackets, into different buckets. So you have one for investment, like one for your food, necessities, etc. It goes on the list. So within your invest, investment funds, so within that 100%, you take your investment funds and you put it into the stock market, no matter what it is. It's a bear, bull, or whatever. It's up and down, whatever trending, just put it in. It doesn't hurt. Even you lose money on it, as long as it doesn't you know, disappear, It'll always find a way to climb its way back up. That's how it works. The market will always have a downturn. And when it has an upturn, it always, it always overshadows the downturn. And watch, after this pandemic's over, I bet you again, it's going to go up. Because personally, I have been through this experience more than once. I just want to share this experience with you guys. So basically, passively invest. There's a lot of articles that say you should actively invest. At the same time, that really depends on the person. Personally, for me, I don't like to take that high risk and high reward. And also, it comes with high reward, high stress too. Because if you are an active investor, you got to basically keep in track what comes in and out. You got to make it all come in. So, for example, as a day trader, I had a friend, a day trader. So, what he told me, all the money he puts in during the day when the stock exchange opens up in the morning in New York, 
Well, the money that goes into there comes out before it closes. That's how he explains it to me. Personally, I tried it a few times. I wasn't a fan of it because it's really difficult. It's really high stress. Wasn't for me. So you want to, you want at the end decide what type of investor you want to be. Do you want to be a passive investor or do you want to be an active investor? At the end, whatever you choose, just make sure to do your deal diligence. But overall, as a beginner investor, for most people, I suggest passive investing. And once you have, you build enough passive investments, your investments at the end is just to build you money. So basically, whatever you work in your job, you're working a job, you make your money, and you make your money, you spend it on investments and spend it on things you need. But at least keep some for investments. Your investments eventually grow enough to overshadow your job. Overall, what I want to let you guys all know, investment doesn't have to be really difficult. It's actually very simple. It's just people have to manage their money. They have to manage their expectations and manage their patience. The market will always go up, so you always see a return investment over time. It's not something that happens, you know, days, weeks, or even years. Usually it takes multiple years for you to see a really great return. So at the end, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on my channel. Peace.